Hi, I'm Alec Catchpole, and I was born and grew up in London. The last thing that I wanted in my life was religion. I hated religion. For me, it was the most boring thing on earth. And Jesus Christ might have been okay for young kids or for old women, but he wasn't anywhere on my map. I was exposed to drugs, alcohol, and revolutionary politics growing up. And exposure soon turned to dependency. I had a job in the insurance industry in the centre of London and had a really brilliant career ahead of me. But it wasn't long as my life spiralled out of control that I ended up living in a squat and unemployed and lost my driving licence through drinking and driving. I had the opportunity to go and live in the Caribbean island of Dominica for six months. And I met people that had real peace and joy in their hearts. And I couldn't understand why, because these people were poor and they really didn't have any, any future ahead of them. I asked them why, and they told me that they had faith in God, something that I just wouldn't believe at all. And more people I spoke to told me about their faith and how the Lord helped them, notwithstanding the difficulties that they were facing every day. I decided to find out for myself and started to read the Bible. That was 30 years ago, and I haven't stopped. I read about the Lord Jesus Christ, someone who in many ways was a revolutionary. He was against the people that were abusing their powers and treating the poor and the marginalized really, really badly. But he didn't just want to revolutionize society. I found out that he wants to revolutionize people's lives. He wanted to revolutionize my life. And he did that by what he accomplished on the cross. Our main problems are sin, the devil and death. Jesus Christ on the cross dealt with all three of those. He was made sin for us. He died for us, taking away the devil's power over us. And he rose from the dead and he lives in the power of an endless life. And I realized that he could come into my life and change my life. So in a very simple way, I trusted the Lord, turning my back on my, on my sin and drugs and alcohol and revolution and decided it was time to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. I found him to be faithful, loving, kind and caring, notwithstanding my own weaknesses. He has guided me and led me through these 30 years and I found him to be trustworthy. And I'm so thankful that he came into my life to revolutionize me, to change me. Maybe you're listening to this testimony, just like I did those 30 years ago in the Caribbean and thinking, can it be true? Why don't you do what I did? Why don't you open up the Bible, the New Testament? Read for yourself the life of the Lord Jesus, what He wants to do in your life, what He's done for you. I want to encourage you to taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are those that trust in Him. May the Lord bless you and may you trust in Him.